The first example we're going to talk about is on building exponential equations in the form y equals a times c raised to the x. So the directions say, given a set of exponential values, write an exponential equation. So our final answer should look like something in this format. So remember, um, these are the x and y values that we're going to be given, and we're going to be building an equation that looks like this. So from the Prezi video, you should remember that the a value is your start amount, which is always when x equals 0. Okay, so to find the a value, when you guys are building the exponential equations, the only thing you need to fill in are the a and the c values. You leave the y and the x alone. Don't touch those two. All you have to fill in is your a value and your c value. So your a value, that is the y when x is 0. So I look over here, the y value when x is 0 is going to be 4. So you're just focusing on what is y when x is 4. I'm sorry, what is y when x is 0? Sorry. So the y value when x is 0 is 4. So simply your a value is just 4. Okay, because the point when x is 0, y is 4. So all you have to do is fill in a 4 for your a. That one's pretty simple. Don't overthink the a value. Now the C value. On the Prezi side, I told you that C was this right here. So I said it meant f of x plus 1 divided by f of x. So all that means, you pick some y value and you divide it by a previous y value. So you pick a y, x plus 1 is 1 larger than x. So you pick a y and you divide it by the previous y. So when you do this, you cannot start with the very first y value because there's nothing before it. So you can pick any of these numbers as long as it's not the very first one. And you should get the same number for c no matter what you pick. So I'm just going to start with the last one to make things easy. So you could pick a y value. So I could pick 108 and divide it by the previous y, which the previous y is 36. Okay, which when you reduce that down, the C value is going to be a 3. 3 times 36 will give you 108. Okay, which that should equal or be the same as you could pick another Y value. If you pick 36 and you divide it by its previous Y value, which is a 12, 36 divided by 12 will also give you a 3. Holy hot dog, that's exciting. Okay, or the last one that you could pick, if you start with 12, the previous y value is a 4. And 12 divided by 4, I bet you can guess what that is, it's a 3. So no matter what you pick, you should get the same value for your c every time. So our c value is going to be 3. And that's all you have to do to build your exponential equation. So your final answer would be y equals your a value, which in this case was a 4 parentheses our c value which is a 3 raised to the x and that's it folks it's all you got to do for building exponential equations if you're giving x and y values